Hello everybody, and welcome to Skyrim Elysium Remastered. Now, I was playing the original Elysium mod pack for the channel, and my save got corrupted. And between the tiers, I was googling a solution and saw that the mod pack had actually gotten upgraded to the, the remastered edition. And it uses the anniversary edition of the game. It uses or it, it adds a ton more mods and I didn't really like my old videos. So I'm just starting over. I'm using the same character and everything. So let's jump in. I'm super excited because um, I've fallen in love with this mod pack and the beginning of the last series was mostly just me figuring out how to play Skyrim on PC since I've never done that before and a lot of it was just learning mechanics and everything so now I'm going to take my new knowledge and go forth. All right so obviously <laughs> there's a lot more to this uh, than in the vanilla game, which is just overwhelming. <laughs> uh, I'm probably just gonna, uh, I am gonna play as an Argonian. I already have the character in mind. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna fast forward through this, cut in if there's any like funny shit. But uh, yeah, see you then. <laughs> didn't mean to do that <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello <laughs> This is just, this is unnecessary. No, no, sir. No, absolutely not. Insanity. Who the fuck would do this? Oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ, this mod. Okay, well anyway, I'm done. This is our character. That is, okay. Now I'm just gonna let it all load and everything. Okay, now that character creation is done, uh, we will be, we have the uh, mod that allows us to start anywhere we want. We go over here. My child, and choose where your new life shall begin. And we can be a ton of stuff. This is the vanilla start. What I am going to choose is this one. Guildmaster of the Explorer Society. An entire world of lost mysteries lies before you to explore, Guildmaster. Be cautious. Oh, I won't. I'll die many a time. But we come over here, activate the bed, and then we will be in the game. Tardy Penis grew up in the political world of Black Marsh, raised only by his father, Webam T.S. Penis, and never knowing his mother because she died in a tragic accident before he hatched. 
His father, who held a high position of power, is looked up to by many Argonian, though like most politicians, he harbors a dark secret. While still young, Tardy discovered that his father was a follower of Sithis, a secret that Tardy didn't fully comprehend, but knew it could ruin his father's reputation. His father then threatened him to keep his secret, telling him that the last person to find out was dead. You wouldn't want to end up like your mother now, would you? The words of his father that day echoed in his head every time he thought about stepping out of line. Tardy kept his head down and did as his father ordered, forced to take place in dark practices and rituals in the name of Sithis. Tardy did unspeakable things, things that his father held over him for further control. Under constant stress from his now double life under his father's iron fist, Tardy took comfort in the one thing he came to love, learning. While not the brightest student, he was certainly the most passionate. With no love for politics or his father, Tardy sought his own career path, finding friendship in his history teacher, a kindly old Nord who would regale him with stories of his time as an archaeologist in his home of Skyrim. Tardy became obsessed with history. It wasn't long after discovering his new passion that he devised a plan. A plan to remove himself from his father's shadow while simultaneously pursuing his own interests. He spent years gathering evidence, and when he came of age, he approached his father. He insisted to his father that he had found something, something important, something that couldn't be ignored, a Sithis artifact of incredible power. We Bamtia sat and examined his evidence. He looked at his son, seeing a boy earnestly seeking his father's approval. But the thing that Tardy Penis was best at was lying, and he had learned from the best. With his father's blessing, and more importantly, his money, Tardy formed the Explorer Society. Taking the helm as Guildmaster, he set forth for Skyrim in search of an imaginary Sithis relic. With enough distance to weaken his father's grasp, he found something that he thought he had lost. Freedom. The freedom to learn anything. The freedom to walk his own path. The freedom to find his own power. Little did he know just how much power he was destined for. Uh, I do not want to enable survival mode. <laughs> I'm bad enough at this game already. Oh. Oh. Ah, Chugging ooh. along. You're finally awake, Gilman. Okay, so we get to pick a religion, and we're going Sithis. Like the backstory you just saw, uh, the, he's kind of... He has been forced into following this... And we'll see if it changes over time. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, the good thing is, is that stealth is easier and we can murder whoever, whenever. <laughs> but we're finally awake. What time is it? It's clearly midday. Oh, must be going on nine in the morning now. Oh, After never the mind. incident <laughs> yesterday evening, we figured we'd just let you sleep in. Incident? My, you must have hit your head proper. The main chamber caved in yesterday. Nobody was seriously hurt. But you and a couple others took some pretty nice knocks on the head, and it set us back a bit. Well, we best got to it. Half the day is gone now? Bruh, like, it's nine in the morning. Oh, worry not. We kept at it and managed to salvage the passage access, but there are lots of odd sounds. He's a hard worker. Moving about inside. They're all hard working men. Trouble. So we'd figured we'd wait for you to come around. You should certainly stop at the expedition supply tent and arm yourself before you go. No telling what could be down there. Oh, and we collected your tools after the accident. They are sitting on the table out here. Grab them, gear up, and have a look in the ruins. Argonel is waiting for you inside. All right. We're in it. Sweet. Now, real quick, I'm just going to check some settings. Be right back. All right, I messed with all the settings. Everything is looking good. I had to uh, do some control stuff, but it's time to get geared up. Let's take some lock picks. I'm just gonna take damn near everything in this tent, just because it's needed. Oops, I clicked it too many times. Okay, so the bottomless backpack, this is wonderful. Nice sturdy pack 
for hauling gear. Oh, wait. I think this pack is special. Yeah, sometimes things will come up in it, which is good. The compass is really good. Uh, you can use it to... Uh, let's see. You can use it to set waypoints. And you can fast travel to those waypoints and everything. It's super good. It's super useful. Just like a, if there's no, nothing nearby, you can use it instead. That's just like going to and from stuff. Tools. This is for the new exploration stuff. Okay. The sextant I don't think I've used yet. Oh, it'll ro locate the nearest relic. And that's this whole thing. This whole mods thing. Take all that. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I know there's stuff over here. This is all the stuff that we had on us, allegedly. But let's do some item management real quick. So I'm not... I, I know the build that I want to do. I don't want to do another stealth archer. Because one, our archery has been overhauled for this mod. And it is now exhausting in a literal sense <laughs> it uses so much more stamina now so like because you pull it out and it'll constantly drain your stamina now it used to be uh just the fact that you'd pull it back and then that was all the stamina it would take but now it's insanity and also uh sneak now takes stamina which is also crazy. So I will not be running that. I want to do more of a... I'm thinking like a, a bit of a sorcery. I want to check out the new magic. The new magic seems cool. There's a lot of new magic in here. Uh, sorcery and just swordsmanship, I guess, would be good. I know there's a ton more weapons and categories and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that as well. I might pick and choose, you know, whatever, whenever. Uh, for now, I guess we go dual wielding. And then you have the double attacks here. Super cool. A lot of the animations have changed which is something I really like, so I might be playing in third person a lot more than usual. The only problem is, of course, uh, looking at shit in first person I will need to do. As far as armor goes, we might go light armor just because of the like getting all the buffs and everything from having light armor uh i will equip the backpack because you can see right here i can carry up to 300 and now it's five insane sometimes you find lost items in the depths yeah so it'll generate i think like daily it'll generate items like just random stuff which is awesome <clears throat> Uh, we got some potions, apples, food. What is this? Is this... Uh, no. Okay, so that's like a book for settings. That's interesting. And this book... has nothing going on with it. Cool. Yeah. That's it. That's uh, pretty much all I want to look at here. Uh, hold R to put our stuff away. So this is Tardy Penis. He is our boy for the next however fucking long I feel like playing this game. Which was probably going to be a long ass time. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the audio settings. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay. So that is taken care of. There's some Nern Root right off the bat. Let's go. This right here is the excavation site. 
uh, site sealed fragments and occasionally keystones, which can be used at the archaeology stations to craft artifacts. Ooh, I don't like that at all, and I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't stop digging. Hold on. Let's try that again. Oh, never mind. It's exhausted. You've earned an archaeology perk points. You will earn perk points for every five skill points in archaeology. Uh, you gain a digging information size. These perks can be spent to purchase useful bonuses and abilities. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, by either using the menu or utilizing Perk Tree Manager found in the Explorer's Guild Society. Okay. Cool. So he said we're in... Uh, we should actually level up before we go in there. I will put some into... Health, I guess, just right off the bat. We'll do two health. And I'm not too sure what exactly I'm specking into, but I have a general idea of what I want to do. Is that a little lantern on my hip? It is. That's awesome. Let's go on in. All right. Hello, ah, sir. Wonderful. You're back. We've just managed to clear the rubble of yesterday's cave-in and managed to break the seal on the opposite door as well. Sounds like there's something moving around down there, so I thought it best that we wait for your return. I'm right behind you, Guildmaster. All right. Okay. So are you actually following me? Need something? Yes, he is. Okay, cool. Um... So are these locked? No. Fuck it, let's not go for the main main room yet, I guess. Oh, hello, sir. Ow. Okay. This hurts. Uh, I need... Do I not have a shield? I do not have a shield. <laughs> if I don't have a shield, I might as well go two-handed. Fuck you, kid. Get shit on. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh. Scared the fuck out of me, dude. What the fuck? There's so many of these guys. Okay. Man, you got a whip? That is so fucking rad. I'll just loot everything off these freaking guys. No, no, not what I meant to do. Thank you. Oh my god. I hit it one too many times and it takes me to the menu. Wait a second. Oh, okay. I thought I was holding a uh, shield along with this. But, are the, oh, they are considered armor. That's right, that's right. Okay, so I will do that. The Daikatana is a two-handed weapon, right? Yes, it is. Iron sword. Can we start by damage? Yeah. The Daikatana Warhammer. Ooh, the pike. Ooh. Nice stabby boy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, here we go. First lock pick of the game. Ooh, don't fuck it up. Yo, let's go. I was like, did I not get anything? A scroll of wild healing. Interesting. I can just take all these skulls. That's cool. Oh, steel claw. Jeez. A rapier? Some boots? Okay, cool. I'm just taking everything. Screw it. I got all this freaking weight. Halberd. Oh, those are regular katanas, aren't they? Oh, can I... 
Thank you. Coin purse. Potion. Take the wine. Take the bread. Wine, wine. Some gauntlets. More bread. All the bread. I want all the bread. All the wine. That was an empty wine bottle that I picked up. Like a dummy. Okay. Now I know we're supposed to go down here. And I think the other door just leads back. Uncle found it. Looks like this door is sealed as well. It doesn't have a lock and the doors aren't fused like the others. Oh, looks like there must be some mechanism nearby that opens it. Have a look around and I'll watch the door. A mechanism? You mean this one right behind this chair? Yes. Secrets. I've played the game before. Okay, now this, I remember kicking my freaking butt. So let's see if I don't die. Okay, I'm already on a bad foot. What's up, dude? Oh. Oh. Holy hell. Oh, this thing slaps. I'll take your meals. Damn, this thing kicks ass. Take the relic. I forgot to save. <laughs> Let me save right here before I get my ass kicked. Hello, sir. All the living shall fear the dead. He's got a cool whip. Don't mess with my bro. He's got a cool whip. Watch out. Oh, ow. Oh, my lord. Level 11? You're kidding. I can get right past your shield, boy. Oh, get screwed, bro. Got that ectoplasm. And I can get the hell out of here. Oh, 200 gold? Oh my god. Uh, I guess I'll take the silver ball. Anything behind this chair? No. Oh, except me. I'm stuck. Awesome. Well, that does it, I suppose. And look, a passage opened back up. Well, after all of that, I'm headed back to camp for a bottle of mead and a lie down. See you back at the guildhouse, guildmaster. All right. So you're no longer following me? Hmm. All right, time to head back. Nice little introduction, honestly. I like it a lot. Get a little bit of combat right off the bat. See if you're good at the game. <laughs> Let's open up this one, see where it leads. Oh, and it leads right back to where we were. Upstairs now. I forgot. I thought that was the main room, but it does indeed just send us out to Skyrim again. Oh, there's the boys. Let's go say howdy. Okay, so I am gonna f save it. Just in case fall damage is actually a thing, and it is. Okay. That wasn't that far of a drop, either. That's what's concerning. So one thing I do want to point out is that they have all these cool new animations and everything, but they also have the ultimate dodge mod. So you got, like, these little dodges. Huh. 
I used to be able to do a roll, but I don't know what changed. Uh, maybe it's per item? Like if I had this? No? But also, what the hell did I just equip? The Iron Great Sword of Smoldering. Target burns for two points. Per second until combat ends? Oh, Lord. That'd be good to just favorite and just smack them once and then switch to something else. That's insane, actually. Holy crap. I got all these katanas. I don't know why this one has a diamond. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know what those are. I'll have to look those up. Filter. T. Who knows? Okay. That's cool. That, that pike. Oh my god. That kicks so much ass from so far away. Am I a pike main? I never looked at these other weapons either. So we got the, uh... The relic? Oh, it's a dagger. Wait. I crypt that in my right hand. What is on my back? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh my god, that's fast. Let me, let me regain my stamina. I want to see that again. Holy hell. Real quick, real quick. If I crouch, does it? No. I figured it, they would like have a sit down thing. Oh my God. That takes so much stamina, that heavy attack. Holy crap. Okay, well. I'm not going to be rocking daggers, that's for sure. I want something with a little more range. Look at this rapier. Big thrusty boy? What? 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 Interesting. That could be good. These steel claws I want to look at. Ooh, Ancient Nord Dagger. Yo, that looks sick. Maybe. Oh, here we go. This... Uh, that does, in fact, look sick. I can't get a good angle on it. I suck at this game. Yo, that looks awesome, actually. It's just like a fist weapon. Ooh, it's got a big uppercut. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder why it's not doing it now. Maybe I don't have enough stamina to do it and it won't let me. Anyway. Let's talk to Carl. We found something. Oh, would you look at that. I haven't seen anything quite like that before. I'm sure it will fetch quite a nice price from a buyer. Oh, but come to think of it, Aryan might have interest in it. Aryan? Who's Aryan? Oh, the vines. You really need to see a healer about that head of yours. <laughs> Aryan is the creator Oops. of the museum Solitudes. The same building that the guild is attached to. <sighs> well, at any rate, he said he had a proposal to post to you, so you might see if he's interested in the relic as well. Okay. I'll you do that after we're finished. We'll finish up the excavation here and pack up in a few days. Then we'll be heading over to Osinium like we had planned. So, good luck to you, Guildmaster. I trust we'll likely not see one another for some time, but I'll send word if you find anything interesting there. And if you'd like a ride over to Whiterun Stables where you can catch a carriage back to Solitude, Fallen is heading that way and could take you. Cool. Key to the Dragonborn Gallery. I didn't mean to just hold that in your face. Hello. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Now, the one thing that this mod has that I am not particularly a fan of is how it says male Imperial, Heading but when you talk to them, master. you learn their name, which like, 
Ugh. I know everyone's name in real life. Like, why is this even a thing? Oh, yes, I'm heading over to White. I just hate it because uh, it, it just wastes so much time just talking to if everyone like to figure to out their along, name. Welcome to. You and can't just point it to whoever. To take you to solitude. But that's just me. Very well. Let's get underway then. But he's going to take me to White Run, I think they said. And then from there, I can go to Solitude. Here we are. Is that you? Oh. There we go. And there's the carriage now. Best of luck to you, Guildmaster. Thank you. Oh, holy hell. This horse is jacked. Oh, that's his horse. Interesting. Wait, can I? I can just take his horse? No. Did I just pet it? Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do that. Oh my god, that is so jarring. <laughs> I like that the camera's like immersive, but holy hell. So you're the one. Yes. I want to hire Where do you. you? Want to go? So, okay. So I was super overwhelmed with all this shit. I didn't know. What is that noise? See ya. Oh my god, they're fighting a freaking troll or whatever. Giant? Help. Uh, I think I'm good, bro. Hey, can you get me the fuck out of here? Good afternoon. <laughs> I don't want to die to that thing. Where do you want to go? Uh, but it took me like two episodes to get the solitude because I can't fucking. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere read. on the way? Uh, Windhelm. No, mm -hmm. this isn't what I Need want. Where do you I want, want to go? solitude. See, this is something I also hate. I don't understand any of this crap. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere? Uh, the way? Ha see, no, I don't mm -hmm. want those. My carrot. Where do you want to go? Uh, Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere? I don't. Oh, okay, way? take me straight to solitude. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Okay, thank God. Oh First time God. to solitude. Beautiful old city, capital of Skyrim. But I'm sure you already knew that. The hell happened? Oh, okay. I couldn't move my camera, and I was confused. Oh wow! Took us all the way to night to get here. Okay. Now where the fuck is here? We're just down the mountain, right? Okay. So we still got a little bit of ways to go. I do like this little lantern. Did I equip that or something? I don't believe so. I wonder when that got put on me. Oh, Magicka Regenerate. Sure, I'll take that. She. Uh, let's see, armor here. So the iron ar iron shield is one point of armor more. Wow, it's more armor and it's less weight. Amazing. So I will do that. I will favorite that. I will favorite the. Uh, where is it? I'll favorite the die katana. I'll favorite a regular katana. What the hell is going on with that? It's because they're all the same. Uh, I guess I'll favorite the arrow and bow. Oh, you know what? Is it not sorted by damage? I do want that. I do want the pike. Halbred also, maybe. Oh, well, you know what? I can put that one in the museum. I'll take the pike for now. 
That's fine. I don't want that. A mace? Interesting. I wonder if that has, like, more stamina damage or something. Uh, yeah, that. I'll try the rapier. And I think that's all I want, really. That seems. Okay. And then this is how I access that. Gear, aid, magic. Okay, that's something I should also do, too, is put that on there. I'll do those, two. Uh, wild healing is cool. I won't do any food. But okay. Let's get to... The museum. They can't hurt Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Yeah, you betrayed me. You need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Damn, that rain just kicked right in, huh? Holy hell, it's drowning out everything. Yo, I want to take this as a sign not to execute this man? You helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered Hiking Corey. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Story. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Norse. I might have to turn on the rain sounds for this. I don't need your help. Very well, Rogbeer. Bow your head. On this day, I go to Sarmagar. Uh, no fucking way that thunder hit so good, dude. Perfect timing. And his head. Wait a second. <gasps> I stripped him. I stripped him from here. You all saw it? I am a god. Okay, my duty here is done. Holy shit. I am actually gonna turn down those fucking weather sounds. Audio. Uh. Oh god, the rain and thunder are all the way up. I'll make the thunder a little louder just because I fucking love it. But turning down the rain is a good idea. <laughs> Uh, I'm also gonna save it. Okay. Yeah, God, it sounds so good, dude. Solitude windmill. Oh, chugging. Nice. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, friend. I'm just the same. Wibbling and wobbling. Cool. Have a good day, sir. <laughs> now, I know the museum is over here. God, I... Dude, I freaking love this thunder. It's so good. Anyway, this is it. And I'm actually gonna call the episode here, just because I know when we go in here, it'll, uh, it'll be a big speech and a big tutorial thing. And I'm sorry if this seemed a little rushed, this first episode. Uh, I've played this opening, beginning, so many times, just 
testing out the mod to see if it works and everything and getting the settings right and everything. And still, there's obviously, you know, some chugging going on. But, god damn, it looks good. And I'm looking forward to getting into this. Ooh. But yeah. Uh, see you in the next one. Uh, it'll be better, I promise. <laughs> Alright, bye.